Rivals Bax here. Welcome to episode three of our Let's Play series. If you are thinking about Rival Kingdoms or have just started to play, you are in for a great game and a great time to be joining it. It's still early on, still a lot of players coming on board. Uh, tomorrow I'm excited about some uh, new content, a new update uh, coming up. Got a new events coming on, got new building with the, uh, with the tavern. There are some um, other nice, uh, nice features. They're going to be adding four new elders. That's exciting stuff. They are going to be um, adding a elder mage for fire and lightning and uh, two death ancients. That look pretty cool. There's also some um, minor tweaks to the to the spells. Rival Kingdom, our Space Age is uh, really trying to stay on top of that and, and keeping the balance well. So they're doing things like tweaking the uh, damage reduction from four veils and talisman spells, boosting um, Nocti a little bit and boosting the hit points on the elemental. So that's some some good changes there. All right, so we have just hit stronghold level two, and since it only takes three thousand gold to upgrade, heading to stronghold three will not be too difficult, and that'll be our goal today. So to do that, we will have to upgrade our gold storage, and then pretty much at any um, stronghold level, what you want to be focusing on is offense. So that means your uh, troop portals and your barracks, if appropriate. We don't have any upgrades this level. And your ancient shrine. So let's uh, dive into multiplayer combat, get some of that gold to do some of those upgrades here. All right, so we've still got Solric as our ancient. I'll be doing a ancient guide on him, a, an in-depth look at Solric pretty soon, so be sure to check that out. And we have our soldiers and wardens to do our fighting. All right, once again, we have a fire tower that's upgrading and that's near the stronghold. So we're gonna come in there, deploy the troops, and they're gonna take those out without too much difficulty. We'll use some spells from a here in a minute. Take out that catapult that is firing at us. All right. Actually, let's send the fire elemental right on top of it. A little extra rain of fire. And we need archers to survive to get to that gold up top. Oops, we did not we do that. Oh, he heads the wrong way. That's right, we still got a win and some of the gold from that, so that's not a problem. We'll take a victory, even if it's not epic. That is win streak eight, and on win streak eight, you get something called a relic chest. There can be ancients in there, reinforcements, good stuff. I always love to see ancients myself. And we have a soldier reinforcement. All right, that will work. Head back in, try to get some more gold here. Then we're gonna work on the uh, gold storage and true portals right away. All right, so notice as you get further along in these streaks, the bases get tougher. So there are a lot more defenses here. We're going to come in at the defense that's going to cause us the most trouble, the catapult. And notice the catapult has a range here, a minimum range, and it can't fire at anything that's too close to it. So we're going to deploy the forces right up front, right close to him. Hope they can take that catapult out quickly and then the watchtowers that will also be firing. So notice that catapult never even got a shot off. We're caught in a crossfire of watchtowers though, so this may not work. And that happens once you get to about win streak eight or so, sometime between eight and 12, you're gonna see that uh, defeat. So it will happen, it's not a big deal. Just bounce back and get right back in there. But upgrading our uh, troops and our portals will help us to do much better at that. So let's bed back to the home screen. And let's start that gold storage upgrade. It's less than five minutes, so we can skip the uh, the time for free on that. All right, and we need 900 gold to get to the uh, portal. And we need 720 gold to upgrade the ancient shrine. Now there's also a few new buildings that we get at Stronghold 2 that we want to build. The gold production, the smelter, will help us to make gold quicker, so that's always a good thing to do. Also a very quick build at start. 
and then on defense we will get some more wall units. Basically, at these first few stronghold levels between 1 and 4, you're going to get crushed every single time on defense. So really focus completely on offense, just get through these levels, and then worry about the, the defense later. There'll be plenty of time for that. All right, so we're going to uh, pause here. I'm going to go get some more gold, and then we'll talk more about the, uh, the upgrades. But before we do that, actually, there's one thing I want to do first, and that's a little bit of customization. If you see up top here, there's your avatar and your name. If you click on the name, you can hit change name and you get one chance to change that to something that you like. So I'm going to rename my village here Vax Attacks. Make sure that's spelled right. Hit confirm. I only get one chance. And that is now my new name. And also if you click on the icon or the picture, you get to choose uh, who you want there. And there are uh, male and female characters or avatars. So pick whichever one you want to represent you. All right, so there, instead of being a random name and a random icon, I now have a custom face and a name that I like to associate with, Baxitex. Okay, so we'll be back in just a minute after we get some more uh, gold for these units. Kestra, all right, it's a new ancient. This is definitely one of the fun parts of the game. Kestra is our second ancient here, and it shows us in our collection here. She is a nature ancient. Uh, she's a common one that'll show up fairly frequently. And just quickly, her abilities are, the first ability is a one that rains down ammo, uh, rains down arrows, doing about 60 points of damage over two and a half seconds. The second one is quite nice. It's a confused spell, and you can cast it on a defense, and it causes it to attack an enemy building instead of your troops. It'll do that for five seconds, and it'll actually deal double damage. So that is a very nice one for 10 mana. The 15 mana one is Wind Fury, and it uh, improves the movement and attack speed for all of your troops for seven seconds, and that has a really large area of effect. So that will basically speed up your whole army there. Um, and these spells will get a little bit more effective as you um, increase them. If you hit the Enhance button there. Now we do have the cash to upgrade that this time. So it takes 100 to get up to the next level. We're going to pop in a 500 Nature Primus. Hit the Upgrade now. Alright, and you'll see that she's now level 2. And actually with another 100 experience points from Primus, she will become level 3. We'll hold off on that uh, for now, though we could use the 500 pure Primus for that. So now we have Kestra as level 2. We will go ahead and select her so that we just um, start to use her in the uh, remaining battles that we have. Let's go ahead and take another attack. Now, they usually it costs um, diamonds to get more battle stones, but they give you a limited number of set of, uh, of, of 10 at the start, and so you can go ahead and feel free to use those up. You can go through them quickly, maybe say one or two for, uh, for later there, and that can uh, help you to get advanced pretty quickly at the beginning of the, uh, the game here. Alright, so we got three defenses. We have a lot of free mana on the left, and notice here on Kestra, if we hit the, um, if you look over here up top, it says one win, and then there are five little stars there. If you tap on the stars, it'll say next star, 10 wins. So we'll get our next Ancient Mastery reward when we get 10 wins with Kestra. So I do like to take the, uh, the any new Ancient I get out for a test drive there. All right, so we'll go ahead and deploy all our troops over on this side. Build up some mana, and if we can get to, <clears throat> 15, we'll use that Wind Fury. If we're looking in trouble, we may have to use a Confuse first. All right, there we go. Let's pop that on there. You saw how large that effect was. So now they're boosted, they're going faster, shooting and taking down that Watchtower just in time. And we're out of range of that Spell Tower, which is good. So they're gonna sit there and plink away at that Stronghold for a while take it down and I'm going to cast a Confusion. Let them shoot at that, a little extra volley 
to help that out. All right, very good. And we have taken out that base once they get through the wall and take out the ancient shrine. All right, there's another victory. We continue to whack up some gold there. A win streak of six, that'll be another treasure chest. Those treasure chests comes on streaks um, two and six, and relic chests come on streaks four, eight, 10, and 12. All right, so let's see what we get in the treasure chest this time. Battle stones, awesome. That will really help us to collect that uh, gold a little bit on the quicker side. Um, we're basically trying to uh, to get the stronghold upgraded as quick as possible at the start here. Um, at stronghold level four, you'll be able to join a kingdom, and that's a huge part of the game. And that's something that I like to uh, to jump to real quickly with uh, with a new account. All right, so that's why we're heading for that stronghold and trying to do that quickly. All right, let's confuse that catapult. He can get our troops pretty badly. All right, there we go. Let's rush these guys with their fury. Rain down a little bit on him. All right, we got all the gold, good enough. So that was win streak number seven. We are we only need about 350 more gold in order to get the 3,000 we need for the uh, for the stronghold. And we're going to get 200 of it here. That sounds good. Okay, just spread those out a little bit. The uh, spell tower does splash damage, so we don't want all our troops to get hit by that. Unfortunately, those two watchtowers from the other side of the uh, building are going to cause some problem. Let's try to confuse one of them. See if he'll shoot his buddy. All right, we got the town hall. The sorry, the stronghold. I do play Clash of Clans, so I'm going to be uh, calling it town hall on accident a couple times. All right, and that is all the gold from that one. So we are about. 100 shy now, and there's our relic chest. We could get another ancient, that would be pretty cool. Or we can get some kind of uh, reinforcement here. Let's see. Oh, we got Castor again. Now, if you get a second ancient like this, then it's a duplicate, and um, instead of getting, you can't have two of the same ancient, but instead of um, getting nothing, it converts it to Primus, and so you get 2,500 Primus of um, the type that that, uh, that that ancient is. We can also come in here, use this, and we can go ahead and, and apply that to her. That would cost 200 gold. I'm gonna save that for the 3,000 though, so we'll, we'll come back to that shortly, but that's how you would um, level her up. All right, let's see if we can get that last 150 gold that we need to hit 3,000 of Greater Stronghold, and this will do it. If we can get the gold, let's see. The gold is on the right and the bottom, the stronghold's down there. The spell tower is out of range of this guy. The stronghold's up here though, so we're gonna come in kind of toward him. Uh, yeah. So we'll get some distraction down there. Get some wardens to fire, some more wardens to fire at the uh, watchtower. We'll take some damage, but I think we'll take those out okay. All right, so now the stronghold will fall. We'll get the gold from that, and then once we get the stronghold to fall, that's gonna, gonna be another 15 mana. We'll have plenty to do our fury and send our troops on a wrecking spree through this. The confuse will shut that watchtower down, and he's gone, so we're gonna wipe through the whole base. So there we go, good deal. Epic victory, one streak, nine, that's a new record, that's a good deal. All right, you see up top, in uh, the gold there is now in red, that means our storage is full. So we're gonna head back to home, and we're not gonna waste any time, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that stronghold right away. That'll take about a half hour to do, so we'll come back to that, and we'll come back to stronghold three next time. Mm -hmm.